Hello, my name is Jason Miller, founder of Aspen Now Solutions, and we're about to unlock the power of ServiceNow. I want to thank all 1,149 subscribers in 51 countries globally. You guys are really helping me out. If you're new to the channel, this is your first time watching and you haven't subscribed, if you could help me out by clicking subscribe right here, I'd really appreciate it. By doing so, you are facilitating the distribution of knowledge to people who need it most globally. So one thing I wanted to point out also uh, is my guest star here, latest one, Harshini Alok, who's done a couple of really awesome videos, uh, one on how to set up the uh, ServiceNow integration with AWS, and then another one, how to trigger or automate tasks in Kingston using REST uh, in the workflows. It's really just a couple of beautiful videos there. I also wanted to point out the playlist that I've set up. So we have different themes um, that you know you can click on and you can watch all the, the videos there. Um, they're a nice little playlist. So for today, what we're going Hello, to talk about, Miller, oops, founder. excuse me, uh, <laughs> a little bit too quickly. Uh, so today what we're going to focus on is how to get data into the system faster. So if you're just starting out with like a development instance and you haven't gone live with prod yet, you probably got a bunch of spreadsheets that were sent to you um, or your development staff and people are asking for you to enter you know different values in choices and all that type of stuff so um, what I want to show you is the company form and I created kind of similar to the one out of the box I think it was called like stock symbol I called this one ticker symbol I know I could have probably used the one out of the box and then converted it from a string to a choice um, but I don't know, I just wanted to create my own on the company table. So, uh, when you click on a right click or two finger click if you're on a Mac like myself, you're going to go to configure dictionary right here. And dictionary entry will open up. Now most people, um, that's their first instinct, is just to go right here to the choices list and start doing them one by one. But what if you had 500 or 1000 that you need to upload here um, then I turn to this little feature right here next to the filter. I love this. This is the most like underrated feature probably in the entire platform. You can right click or two finger click on this and you can open it in a new window and it'll take you to the table. Uh, so you'll see here this is the assist choice table and if I want to I can just upload the choices from here. So this nice little feature to get the Excel template is actually within that import UI action, so within that menu. See how it says create Excel template right here? This is beautiful. To me, this does all the work for you. Um, I'm just going to go to the one that I've created. Um, also, it has directions on the front or in the, uh, in the tab right here, the directions tab that'll, that tells you, you know, what exactly needs to happen. And then here, is where it's going to bring down um, all the, the fields from the table. Now one thing we're going to notice is that there's this name column that I added. So I'm going to get to that probably in a little bit, but basically I added something here um, that doesn't, um, it exists, but we're going to see what happens when you try to add your own values to something that seems to exist, but it really doesn't. So you're, you'll, you'll see in just a second when I upload this. So I did all the uh, symbols there, and I'm going to bring this down one more time. So I'm just going to download this as an Excel spreadsheet, and we'll see we have all our ticker symbols here, like ServiceNow and the FANG stocks and Square. So I'm going to take this, and now I'm going to choose the file. Go to Sys choice number four, and I'm going to click Upload. Now it's going to take a couple of seconds for it to upload. One thing I wanted to mention while that's uploading um, is a colleague of mine, Chris Stanky, who had put a lot of content on the ServiceNow share site. So if you're looking for some good reporting or performance analytics uh, material to add to your instance, uh, you know these have gotten some some traction here, and Chris has put them out there on LinkedIn. So just wanted to thank him for doing that. I was going to do a video on um, these three, but I had to do this data video first because I thought it was a little bit more critical right now. But if you get a chance, check out some of Chris's stuff. I talked to him over the phone recently, 
and he's doing some really, really awesome things. So just want to thank Chris for that. So now that we're done, we can preview our imported data. And now we'll see here, name. It says here it doesn't exist on the destination table, even though I thought it did. So let's complete the import, and I'll show you what, I'm, what I mean by that. So here, you see how it says table here? You're probably saying, well, Jason, you should have answered table. Um, well, not so fast. So if I click inside the record, um, which is basically like opening up one of these, um, excuse me, let's do that one more time. Let's open up this record. And now we're going to see our choice, right? It says table here. But see here, it says name. So I tried both table and name, wouldn't do it. So just the, the takeaway here is whatever that list gives you, just go with it. And then when you get to this point here and you need to fill in the table name, uh, you can refer to my previous video, which uh, maybe I'll have it pop up here or something like that if I can figure out how to do that on YouTube. Um, but what I would do is just put in company right here and update these seven records at one time. And that's a lot easier than having to go back into that, that list for ticker symbol down here and do these one by one, I think anyway. Because if I had to enter in all the NASDAQ stock symbols, I mean, we're talking in the thousands here. So I think that's a pretty cool way to do it. Oh, so you can see right here, it's, it's updating with a table name. Um, that's what that little uh, blue circle means right there. So now when I come into this form, I'll reload it. And now we'll see all of our choices are there. So it's fantastic. One other thing I wanted to note, and this is just kind of a, a Google Docs type of thing, was that the values should be lowercase. However, in this sheet, we had them all uppercase. Now you're probably thinking, wow, that's a pain. Now i got to type them out or figure out how to do that. There's a formula we can use. It's equals lower, and then whatever uh, this column is right here, E2. And then what you do is just form these crosshairs and just drag this down. Or you, I think you can double click in, in Excel also. It'll, it'll just shoot on down the, the column there. So I hope that helps you get started with uploading data to your instance. Again, you know, this can be a really tedious task, and I can tell you there have been countless hours spent just trying to configure these lists manually in the tool. So ServiceNow has done a pretty awesome job of putting uh, this template out there uh, for everyone to use. My name is Jason Miller, founder of Aspen Now Solutions, and you've just unlocked the power of ServiceNow.